Hi guys, in this tutorial we will do analysis of this water tower. The water tower is made by a Tibet 6.3 mm square tube, all members vertical, horizontal and cross basing, which has 6 meter high height, 3.6 meter length and 1.4 meter width. The material I have choose here 2.235 JR as this tank is just for the presentation purpose only, which is 5000 liter water tank horizontal. So let's open the pot and do the analysis. We will do the analysis with the two methods. One we just keep same like as the weldments and once we will do with the solid bodies. So first we will do with the weldments. Click new study. First we do weldments, static, okay. First we will do uh, fixed geometry. We will select six bottom joints, base joint, and we fix these joints. Now we add gravity. Usually it is by default with the top plane with the big this arrow. Now we apply assign distributed mass here on this top frame. So select the beams, select this all top members. And we will apply 5,500 kilogram. 5,000 for the water weight, and the 500 we just assume the the water empty tank weight. Okay. Create the mesh. Our Mesh is created now. Run the analysis. The more accurate way to do the analysis of uh, this uh, weldments to keep in the weldment features, <laughs> treat as a beam, like we have used here. This is the beams icons. If I right click here and treat as solid, then it will be like a solid, like we are using uh, modeling normal extrude, cut, revolve. So here we got 33 megapascal maximum stress. I will choose scale here 200 33 megapascal it's somewhere here in the red areas okay and the, what is the displacement we got Okay, 0.6 millimeter. The factor of safety obviously will be very safe. We got almost seven factor of safety. We will keep the table as a standard reading from 1 to 100. Okay. So the maximum stress we got 33, 34 megapascal. Now let's do the analysis with the solid bodies. Right click here. Create 
new simulation study read as solid bodies static analysis all right in during the modeling the weldment i did not keep any weld gap here so it will be should be by default bonded and it should not be have any trouble during the mesh or the analysis first just delete this cut list we don't want select this all members from here to here and treat selected body as a solid okay so this is all bodies are solid now let's fix geometry again but in this time we will select these six faces okay all right so now let's apply the load the same same load first we add the gravity top plane by default and distributed mass in this case what we will do we will just select this all top faces only So the all two faces are selected. We will apply same 5500 equally distributed on this top frame. Okay. Create mesh. Select curvature based and refine the mesh. I will recommend to do the analysis with the elements feature. Don't go with the solid bodies as it is. And the elements are the more. Okay, so our mesh is ready. Now let's run analysis. You have not defined contact condition for this study. Right to continue with no. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we forget to make the contacts here as we just make it the solid body, so it required to make component contacts again. I will keep the solid contact here as a bonded because this is all frame is welded. Now we have to do recreate the mesh again. Okay, our mesh ready. Now run this study. I hope I will not get any error now.
this all analysis are just for the education purpose only and uh, the based on the theoretical study So this all structure has almost 1.6 ton weight. Our analysis is ready. Let's see how much is the difference with the weldments and the solid bodies. Here we have 100 MPa maximum and the displacement how much? The displacement I think almost we have the same as the weldment. Alright, so now we have to see why we have here stress, high stress is here, almost 100. Yeah, if we go to the weldment and see the stress, we have 34 stress here only approximately on these joints. Okay, now we will investigate here why we have 100 stress here. It should not be the 100, it almost the same 34, 35 or maximum 40. I think this all frame are yellow and a little pink here. So it's mean up to here we have the high stresses on this level like somewhere here 30, 35. <laughs> But we will see where the hundred stress. We do the ISO clipping here. ISO clipping and uh, check this ISO 2 we will see the above 34 or 33 we'll set 33 and what is the maximum we have 100.5 I will give 105 so In these areas we have high stresses
So there's no any highlighted the beings or all other members only this these small small pieces are highlighted so if i put here 50 then we'll see if i go 80 We activate show maximum. Okay, here we have found maximum stress area. Oh, it is very small area. So I think we are safe. It it should be the same uh, stress value as for the weldment. Only the small differences. Yeah, this is the high stress we got here. This happened maybe we did not refine the mesh completely. That's why. Otherwise, this all frame are safe. It's a blue and the little pink. So there's no big difference. But I will still recommend you to go with the weldment feature if you have the do the proper uh, the weldments. Because the displacement almost the same. Point six. Yeah, point six six. All right. This area have more displacement here. Deflection. the same here all right guys thank you very much uh, i hope uh, you like this tutorial thank you bye